Jesus is an example for so many people in the world, not just Christians. Even many unbelievers have said they find in Jesus an example for their lives. Now, in no way more so is it when it comes to the issue of the purpose of each human life. Jesus, as the Creator, came to live with us on our earth. He had a reason for being here, just like every single person has a reason for being here on earth. When He came, he was first, he first started his life as a carpenter. First as a carpenter's apprentice, then he became a carpenter, and then he became a teacher. Those were the vocation that he was recognized for by so many people who lived around the time and place where he was. But then he moved on to have a ministry. He had the ministry of preaching, of teaching, and of healing. He had a mission to the Jews, and he had a mission to the Gentiles as well, even though his focus was primarily on the Jews. But it was not enough that Jesus had a vocation or that he had a ministry or a mission. He also had the passion for praying. Everybody knew that he would disappear, sometimes go for hours on end, all through the night, praying. So he had that passion, and the passion of talking with his God and teaching people. But then he had a purpose. And as busy as it was in his life, he kept his focus on his purpose. It was very tough for him, it was agonizing, but he kept his focus on his purpose. And at the end, he fulfilled his life purpose. Jesus was born to die. And he made sure that nothing kept him from fulfilling that purpose. That's why you and I have hope today. That's why we are happy, that's why we have the assurance that we will be reconciled with God the Father to reign with Him for eternity. Have you found your purpose? And are you living your purpose? Or are you focused on your vocation or your passion or your mission or ministry? Follow the example of Jesus. Find your purpose and live it. Oh